As part of the content delivery process, the content and experience provided to the visitors can be highly personalized. This process can involve a number of architectural entities and a thorough understanding can be important for scaling and configuration. When the visitor requests a page from the content delivery role, the Psycho rendering engine runs to personalize or differentiate the content based on rules and metadata. Psycho continuously stores metadata about the visitor and visit throughout the entire visit. Metadata which can be used to personalize the experience for the, vis for the visitor. However, the rules used in the Psycho rendering engine can be extended to run any business logic and thereby rely on any data for personalization. The Psycho metadata automatically picks up explicit information about the visitor and visit. For example, the day of the week, the time of day, the pages visited, the visitor's IP address, and his or her uh, device and browser identification, and much more. If enabled, Psycho can enrich the metadata by looking up visitors' geographical location and information about the device from the Sitecore GOIP and device detection services. The information can be enriched further with custom logic reading from other services or databases. All this metadata, for example the screen or the country he or she is in, can then be applied in the rules engine to choose the specific content that that visitor is presented and the, and the rendering engine can output this content in various formats such as HTML, XML, JSON, PDF, or other. While the visitor is active on the site, the Sitecore tracker constantly collects metadata for the visitor and the visit. The tracker stores the data in ASP.NET session state or what in Sitecore terminology is called the private session state. By default, the private session state is stored in process, and in the in other words, um, or in other words, in memory on the content delivery role. However, Sitecore supports various session state storage providers for different purposes. Choosing the right private session state store is particularly important in a scaled environment, and is, as it is important that a visitor maintains the same session state or metadata across all servers in the cluster to make sure the experience is consistent. Furthermore, hosting options and latency can influence which session state provider to choose. Please refer to the documentation for more information. Different Sitecore roles can be configured to use different session state providers based on requirements. For example, the content delivery role can use a database for storing session state, and content management can use in-process session state storage. To be more accurate, the Sitecore tracker stores information on interactions and on contacts. An interaction is the activity of a user on a given channel. On the email channel, an interaction could be that an email was opened or that a visitor unsubscribed. On a website, this could be the activities done by the visitors in a website session. For example, the pages visited, the goals triggered, and so on. As, previously, as, as mentioned previously, while a website session is active, the interaction is stored in the private session stored, store. All interactions are associated with a contact, for example, the visitor on a website. The tracker can also store information on the contact, for example, whether the user is identified, and metadata such as contact information, addresses, emails, etc. In some scenarios, a contact can be running multiple active sessions at the same time. For example, when a contact is identified, and logged in on the website on his computer and his mobile at the same time. In order to make sure that the changes to the contact in one session does not override changes in another session, the tracker stores the contact in a shared session state store as long as the sessions are active. 
This makes the contact information shared and readable across multiple sessions and changes in one session will be available in the other sessions. If the experience database has set up has been set up, in other words, if Sycor has been configured as the Sycor Experience Platform product and not as the Sycor Experience Manager, the tracker will persist the contact and interactions when the sessions expire. The data stored in the session state storage is now passed to the XConnect collection service and stored um, and saved to the XDB collection database. Please refer to the sections around collecting experience data for more information on this flow. As long as the website visitor is anonymous, an identifier uh, stored in a cookie is used to identify the contact in the XDB. If the visitor is a returning contact, in other words, if a cookie ID already exists, any information, any information for that contact is looked up in the XConnect collection service when the session starts. It's, this makes it possible for Sycor to personalize the content served to the visitor based on information gathered in previous visits.